This is Dean with Westlake Pro, and today we're taking a look at Form, the new synthesizer in Complete 11 by Native Instruments. This is a great synthesizer with unlimited possibilities for incredible sounds from everything from simple pads and simple keys to crazy leads to completely new sounding soundscapes. This synthesizer can do it all because it's more than just a synthesizer. It's a synthesizer that has morphed with a sampler. So in this video, we're gonna take a look at all the controls and see what this thing can do and talk about how to use this and then check out the demo video to see more of the sounds from form. So let's take a look here at, we're just gonna load it up. We loaded up Reactor 6 and we loaded up uh, just a preset called binary for form. It's under the leads presets folder. So we get this really great sound. Let's just load up a couple other ones and see what we've got here. So a lot of cool sounds uh, already coming out of this. Um, you know, we've got a lot of different keys here. We can play around with these. So some very interesting sounds uh, that we get out of the box with form. Now let's dive in a little deeper. So when we load it up, we have uh, these three tabs at the top of the interface. And these three tabs are how you access your main components of this instrument. So we have sample, sound, and effects. Let's start with sample. So as I mentioned before, Form is actually kind of a hybrid sampler and synthesizer. And this is where we load our sample. So some of the samples that come with it uh, are found here in the samples folder uh, on the left. And we can you know, choose any sample we want and load it in. We can preview the sample. So that's kind of a low droning synth. That's kind of an interesting soundscape. That's a pretty interesting uh, kind of movement synthesizer. So you can see... Now this is an interesting one because it's kind of a classic choir sound. Let's go ahead and load the sample in. So we load in the sample and you can see we've got... Now this, this sample is showing up on our sample page and when I play the instrument... The same effects that were happening on uh, the other sample are now happening with this sample. We can turn the effects off with this button. So we can hear just what the actual sample is doing. So that is uh, kind of the sample section of form. It's, it's very powerful because we're able to add in you know, just about any sample we want. We can Let's load this one. So now when we play it, you can see here we have the pitch curve. We can turn that on and off. We can also reset the sound if we want to. We confirm it, it's cleared. So now we're starting with a blank slate with this sample that we've chosen. And you can tell that it's just playing it as I play notes on the keyboard. Now, let's take a look at uh, some of these other options. So we have a tune here. Which allows us to set the tuning uh, to whatever we like. If I alt-click it, it will go back to zero. We've got a volume. We've already chosen our sample. Now we can choose what type of reaction we're going to get. We want poly, so we can play multiple notes at the same time. We can do mono retrigger or mono legato. 
So that's just a little bit of a different reaction. Um, sometimes we have the glide option available. Uh, if we're doing the legato, for example, we can set the glide. And you can hear it kind of gliding between notes there. Let's go ahead and set it back to poly. Over here, we have uh, the option to set how the synthesizer reacts. Sometimes if you want to have uh, more than one sampler, more than one sound going on at the same time, you can layer it with the multi-mode, um, and that affects the perform section down here. You can set multiple uh, notes. You can set that there. And you can hear we've got already kind of a doubled sound versus just our single sound. So uh, that is this section here. Now we get down into our actual sample here. And we can hear what different parts of the sample sound like. And that's uh, just a nice helpful feature when you click here. So uh, let's take a look here at this uh, bottom section where we have speed, motion, and perform. Now under speed, this uh, shows the speed at which the sample is going to play. So one is just kind of your standard, but if you want it to go a little slower, you can do that. A little faster, you can do that. You can set this based on the BPM of the DAW, hertz, or cycles per second, or you can do it based on the sample length. So if you wanted to do two times as fast as the sample, you can do that as well. Over here in our motion section, we have what is called curves. Now this is one of the coolest features of form. We can actually control how the sample is played using these motion. So you notice that you can actually control the way that the sample is played. You can control which parts of the sample are played. Um, you can control uh, in which speed. I'm going to take the speed down a little bit. So you can see that now with this motion, it's going all the way, playing the whole sample, and then coming all the way back to the beginning. So we've got those uh, more normal motions, but we've also got some wackier motions here as well that we can play around with. That plays it twice, four times, so you can see that you have a lot of different uh, options here for different motions. Now, you can even edit these motions yourself, which is an incredible tool to use. If you want to, if you want to chop up your own sample and then edit it here, you can do that. When you go to the curve editor, you'll see that you can choose which part of the sample is played. You can choose which type of curve uh, is for just that part of the sample. So you can see that there's a lot of controls here that we have. Down here we have uh, some basic options, whether or not we want to, uh, I'm going to actually set this back to our normal curve here. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and take a look here at the retrigger or free. So free means that it's going to continue going. <laughs> No matter what I play, retrigger means it's going to start the motion when I hit the note. And it happens every time I hit the note. We can legato, which means it will only trigger for the first time the note is hit, and then if the notes are legato after that, it will not retrigger. And if it's legato is off, 
it re-triggers every time I hit a note. We can actually loop different sections here. Um, and if you have a sample that uh, lends itself well to this, you can actually go ahead and create kind of a uh, never-ending synth sound with your sample. You can even set the direction of the loop. Forward, backward, and alternating. You can also flip if you want to do that. Now the perform section uh, has to do a little bit more with when you're performing. Uh, you can see it's laid out with a keyboard. Um, you're able to you know, trigger that with uh, key switches in order to call up different patches on the go. Down here we have some, some overall controls. I'm going to go ahead and load up back uh, my preset here that we are starting with. And so these are macros that are set uh, that you can control the sound with. And they vary based on whichever sound you're using. So you can go ahead and play with those as well. Over here we've got uh, the sound tab. Now the sound tab is uh, where you get into the meat of the instrument. This is where we get into the oscillator, the second oscillator, any effects, and any modulation or filters. So in the form oscillator uh, you can see that we can adjust the pitch here. So we can adjust that pitch. Uh, we can also pan. We can adjust the level of the oscillator. We can also adjust the formant of the oscillator. We can also have an additive oscillator. In this case, it's an octave. We can change the waveform. So you can hear how that changes the sound. Over here we've got the oscillator effects. You can see that we've got some motion going on. And we can choose any of these that we want. Deform. got Shaper, FM, Stereo, and Multiply. So a lot of different sound possibilities there. Here in the modulation section, we have our envelopes. So we can adjust the attack. We can adjust the LFO as well as a second LFO. And then we also have this pretty cool section here which allows us to change, uh, if we wanted to say, put our envelopes here, um, multiply them together. Or crossfade them. It allows you to really manipulate the sound um, and create something you know, completely unique. Now let's take a look at uh, the filter here. Obviously it's just a simple filter. And 
So as you can see, we've got uh, you know a lot of different sounds that we can get here. This, since this is a multi-mode instrument, we're actually getting all of these. You can adjust these individually, meaning that each of these can be a unique sound with its own with its own patch. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to load up one that is uh, just a single. So you can hear some of these uh, a little clearer. So you can hear what those do. Finally, in the effects page, we have a few more uh, modules to look into. We have this dry wet band, uh, which determines the dry wet level to the band filter. And then we've got these filters here. So we can set these filters. They're pretty unique. Um, you don't see too many filters that look like this, but they allow you to change uh, a couple things about the instrument. So you can see that you can really manipulate the sound with these. You can also adjust uh, the warmth of the instrument or how much drive it has. You can set it to all or just the bands. And you can set digital or tube. I'm going to go ahead and choose a different sound and we'll just try out some of these delay and reverbs. So you can have a ping pong delay. We can do, um, you know, a straight regular delay if we wanted to. Um, we can change this uh, length of it. We can change the damping. We've got reverb here. We can set to a large reverb. So obviously a lot of control here over the sound and the effects. So that is a, a pretty basic but also in-depth overview of form. We've gone through all the controls and looked at what it does, what it can do. Um, obviously this synthesizer is extremely deep. There are a lot of things that you can do with it, uh, especially because you can record any sample you want and load it in. If you want to record a note on your guitar or a piano or your voice, you can load that into this instrument and start to create uh, incredible sounds that you never would have imagined without it. That is uh, the controls of form. Be sure to check out the demo where we play around with a couple different sounds uh, in that video, and you can also download the session files to play along with yourself. Thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe to the Westlake Pro YouTube channel for more videos like this.